Hello everybody, it's Sally from the Sally Off Show and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we are going to be talking about an element in life that is the key to all happiness. It can buy you a better house, a better car, it can uh, change your body if you're not happy with it, if you're willing to pay for plastic surgery. It's called money! And I know this may come off as a shock to you, but not all countries use the same currency of money. And over the years, they've changed their currency. And it turns out I actually have some old currencies and um, old versions of current day currency. Some of it actually is current day currency, but either way, we're not here to talk about um, specifically, well, we are here to talk about specifically what it is, but basically I'm just gonna be showcasing some old money I, that I have. I got this from mostly my grandparents, but I also got it from uh, my uncle. And some of it. I got some of it from my uncle. But either way, let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, old versions of the pound sterling currency, the currency that we use over here in the UK. Obviously, there's £10 and £5 notes, as well as £20 and £50 notes. However, those £5 notes used to be five pound coins i have two one is i think a generic five pound coin they five pound coin they used back then before they switched to notes and one is actually a coin celebrating the wedding anniversary of um the queen's marriage to um prince philip so here is the um front side as you can see and the back side and it says there 20th of november 1947 to 1972 celebrating the 25th anniversary of the um the queen's marriage so if the camera doesn't pick the coins up if um the focus is not that good i will take pictures of the notes not notes i do have some notes but i will take pictures of the currency and put them on the screen so you can see them better that's the first five pound coin i have and this is the second five pound coin and it's just a generic five pound coin they used back then there's the front and there's the back, and as you can see there, those are just some flags, like um, the Union Jack, the flag of the United Kingdom. So and those are my old five pound um, coins. I struggle to put them back in the little wallet. But yeah, and shout out to my uncle and my um, grandparents. They gave me this old currency. My grandparents actually gave me these five pound coins. As you can see, I just put them back in this little bag they gave me to put them in. So yeah, thank you to my grandparents. And next up is currency that is actually still being used today. And I think the coins I have are still being used in countries that use this currency. This is, these are Euro coins. I have one Euro coin and one and, fi and one 50, cent, 50 Euro cent coin. No, those are the front sides. Again, I'll put pictures up if the camera doesn't pick them up that well. And those are the back sides. Um, this one is from 1999, the one euro coin, and the 50 euro cent coin is from 2002. My uncle gave me these. Again, thank you to him. So, yeah, that's the euro currency. And this currency is a currency no longer being used. Um, I don't think it was even worth that much, but it is the old German currency, the Deutsche Mark. There's a reason they switched to Euro, uh, that name does not roll off the tongue very well, but either way, this is just one Deutschmark coin I have, again, that I got from my uncle. I actually think that this coin is from, um, this coin is from 1972, so this is actually a coin from, um, West Germany before Germany reunified in 1990, very interesting. There's the front, and there's the back with the German eagle. Okay. And the last old currency I have actually has a little bit of history behind it. This is where I talk about my heritage, but we're going to talk about that after I show you the currency. It is the old Cyprus currency, the Cypriot pound. I have one Cypriot, one Cypriot pound note and one five pound Cypriot note. I said that the wrong way for the pound pound note, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, They're, these are the front sides. I think I'm gonna have to take pictures of these ones because I cannot hold them very well to show you. And here is the back side of the five pound note. 
and the front side of the of the one pound note. I'm definitely gonna have to take pictures of these of the side of the um Cypriot notes and some Cypriot coins. This is a this is five Cypriot P from 1988. There's the front. And there's the back, as you can see, with the old Cypress coat of arms. Keep that in mind. The Cypress coat of arms they use today is not the um, coat of arms that they had back then. Cypress updated their coat of arms and flag in 2006. It wasn't very big, but I'll put pictures up on the screen. The old coat of arms, the new coat of arms. The old flag, the new flag. As you can see, they didn't update it that much, but it certainly wasn't the same back then. I have two 20 Cypriot P coins. The front sides, the back sides, again with the Cypriot, um, the old Cypress cut of arms. And, um, a f and 50 Cypriot pence, the front and the back. Okay, so that was my old money collection. However, the reason why, and this is where I talk about my heritage a little bit, the reason why I have most of the Cyprus currency is because I am actually of Greek Cypriot descent. Um, my parents were not born in Cyprus, but my grandparents, both on my mum's side and my dad's side, were. Um, they were born in Cyprus while Cyprus was under British rule when we were a British colony and then they immigrated from Cyprus to Britain um, I don't know when for my for my dad's um, for my dad's parents but I know for my mum's parents at least my mum it was 1964 and the reason why um, my why she immigrated my, my, my grandmother from my mum's side um, was because she was quite poor in Cyprus and if she immigrated to Britain she would have been in a bit of a better place and obviously actually this is most of when my they actually moved back to Cyprus I think when my mum was like six they moved back to Cyprus because my granddad's business back then was doing um, really well apparently and um, his brother's business in Cyprus was also doing really well and they thought that they could work together to kind of be a bit of a superpower of a, of, um, a business, I guess. <laughs> and, um, and my gran and my grandma missed her parents in Cyprus. So they moved back to Cyprus and stayed there for four years. And um, this was after um, the, um, the Turkish invasion and occupation. It's, it's, a, it's a very, Cyprus is a, has a very colorful history, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And uh, obviously, while they were in Cyprus, whether that was when they actually lived in Cyprus or um, were taking holidays there, they got some change. And and then and like they never got rid of it, so it's mine. And I promise I will only do great things with it. Mom, where's my shredder? And um, that was my old money showcasing video and my history lesson about my heritage. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. But um, yeah, that's all for me. And uh, bye bye and have a nice day.